welcome to Mindful Drawing. I'm Ruxus Fun, and I'll be your guide on this meditation through the act of drawing. This week on Mindful Drawing, we'll be exploring the ripple between our eyes and our hands, the guidance that we provide and the feedback we get as lines converge and diverge across the page, bringing us moments of emergence, a pattern, and also a chance to relax into our breathing and find a little calm and a little creativity together. The exercise will use simple techniques and I'll be guiding you along as we find some space within our breath and some space within our action to be present, to let the drawing unfold, and then to give ourselves some time to explore, play, and find something new in that space of the drawing. Go ahead and get a piece of paper, a pen or pencil, something you like to draw with, and let's draw together. We'll start with a, a little scrap warm-up piece for just a general technique introduction. Is and we'll begin kind of by drawing meandering lines across the page. A place to you know, spend a little time in the motion of the hand, both guiding and letting it move. So anywhere horizontal or vertical, just starting to move the pen or pencil along a path. And you can let that pass, maybe rise and fall, or just bounce around when it hits rougher patches or smoother patches in the paper. We're just keeping the hand moving in generally a direction and seeing what starts to guide that curve or line, straight or wobbly. And we'll explore Retracing, retracking that can stay close along the line, or maybe there's points of divergence, even of crossing over. As we stay in the kind of pull or weight of that curve, we'll do a couple more just to get into the sensation of the hand. A little bit there, make sure it's moving okay. Feel free to stretch the fingers or anything if it helps. And just letting the mind kind of quiet down and be okay with tracking along. Using the eyes as a guide as much as the sensation of the hand on the paper. And maybe a final pass through in the warm up, seeing if you can find places to smooth things out a little bit. If it's holding the pencil a little lighter, so it just floats across the page, or perhaps moving a little faster or a little slower, whichever brings you kind of ease there in the drawing. As we'll prepare to move to a, a larger form now. Sorry, another page in the sketchbook size doesn't really matter at all here. I think I'll take this open page territory. Take a couple of breaths to establish. Let the warm up and what I saw and felt there sink in for a moment. Start letting that attention Become more attuned to the space you're in, the time you're with. And then anywhere on that page in the direction that feels best to you, beginning again a line, perhaps it's rise and fall, in and out can start to connect with the breath. Filling the lungs as we ascend in a direction and then returning lightly with the release. Just that meandering journey across the page. The next one starting at the same place and following, being free to wobble towards and away, connect back, even cross over, 
or stay close. Just the natural, subtle deviation of repeating emotion in a space. I think I'll use a rhythm here of kind of two curves next to each other and then finding a new starting position. Breathing in and maybe drawing with the eyes closed for a little bit as we bring some attention into the hand. Letting the senses of the eyes drift back in the sense of the fingertips on the pen or pencil. The hand touching the paper, feeling its texture or the muscles of the arm is suspending it above. And as you reach the end of the motion, let the eyes come guide to reconnect and on the second one, let my eyes wander along the curve from the first sequence, both tracking and untracking, beginning to see some of what the hand was expressing, feeling as it moved on that page, the wobbles, the ups and downs. And as you finish a line, taking a breath in, establishing a starting location. If you feel comfortable closing those eyes and again, beginning to draw across the page. Really bringing the mind's attention to the fingertips, to the places that they're making contact with the pen or pencil. It's texture, shape and weight. As the pressure shifts from thumb to index finger around the hand for different directions. The sensation between us and the outer physical world to bring our attention to. And then a retracing, a tracking along with the eyes to explore what was marked in that sensation. Does the eye like to stay close or like to wobble? So oh, totally up to you. And with the eyes closed on your next initial line or curve, now bring some of that attention from the hand up into the body and the breath. Breathing in as we establish beginning and letting the breath flow out as we begin that line's journey. Observing the change or effect that breathing in might have it can guide you or just be present. A tendency to lift in one direction and sink in the other. That's what starts the flow from my breath to the drawing. It could change the acceleration and deceleration. And then again, with eyes open, but with the attention there on the breath, trying to follow the rhythms that may have come before. Always a little bit of a lag or a disconnect in time as our eyes tracking takes a moment to connect through our mind into our hand. Opening up a little more space of, of wobble and see the rhythms of ribbons start to form across the page. Do another tracking of the breath, beginning to 
shift more into a space of observance. While the hand is moving free a little bit from the mind, the mind brings its attention to the flow of breath in through the nostrils or over the lips. Out again, passing by the nerves and small hairs. The hand on its own journey, separate from our mind's attention to the breath. And whenever that line comes to its end, retracing with the eyes open. Retracing with new breath. The in breath, pulling the lines together, the out, letting them drift into their own pace. As you take one more round with the breathing, Anywhere that feels comfortable on the page, breathing in. And again, that very subtle attention to the speed and pressure as the breath flows out. Only enough mind to the hand to keep it moving. Hearing the sounds of the breath in. and the whoosh of the breath out. Being in that moment of inhalation and exhalation, letting the body release into its rhythm and finding a little relaxation in action. And retrace along the rhythm. And you begin, you continue on with these, finding combination as you do one more. Focusing on the breath, focusing on the sensations of the hand, maybe letting them come back together with the eyes as both observers and guides simultaneously. They may have opinions of direction, of tactile sensation, visual patterns, and we can let them Move along those suggestions, observe what our hand and I see and do as a bit of insight into some of that autonomic response taking place in our mind. You can continue layering, striating, filling the page. Or if it's getting a little bit full, maybe transitioning to an inhabitation phase, place of lighter repetition, bringing shading or connection to the wobbles and gaps. If they're wider like mine, I'm just using a series of generally parallel lines to pull them together to bridge over that space. But if they're more narrow, perhaps it's just filling in with ink or graphite, thickening the two curves into one. For myself, I like the parallel lines as a kind of meditative sequence of repetition, of accuracy and practice, a history 
for myself from my technical background, but shading, layering, filling, in any way that you can bring your mind into the space of the drawing. Leveraging that directional repetition as a chance to observe and meditate on speed, the rhythms, are we in a hurry, are we feeling discomfort from inaccuracy, we let that go and not have to color inside the lines and just focus on each new stroke, each new layer of tone. Filling a void described by the play of our hand and across the paper. Breathe through any feelings, speed or finishing. If this is the last bubble you do for the day, it's just the last bubble you do for today. We don't have to get to all of them. We can have our attention and practice focused here on the one at hand to bring the most of our self and attention to that space in that moment. And if you're working with the technique like the parallel line, something calibrated and repetitive that can also adapt and remap itself to the shape of whatever you're working in. If we begin to let that technique take over as we enter into a space of the breath. And if you're doing more shading, you can work in a similar way working in small zones where we begin to count the motion, the strokes, forward and back, up or down, and connect that number to our breath, going on the in, one, two, three, whatever you get to, and transitioning to the out, one, two, three, four, Five. Probably the out a little longer than the in. One, two, three, four. A pause. One, two, three, four, five. For a few moments, just count the motion connected to the breath at your own pace. As we'll all breathe a little differently and all maybe drawing a little differently. Take five minutes or so to connect in that space. If you just want to let the time be quiet and let the pencil flow, feel free. As we move from that phase, you can continue to follow the breath counting. What did you observe? Did you find some repetition in the rhythm? Did it drift? Was there a parody or consistency between the in-breaths and the out-breaths? Does the number of strokes or motions of the hand probably change? Significantly, as each shape and region is different size, width, and length. Can we practice that steadiness of the breath, its connection to action, as a way to provide stability, 
of a sure footing or stable base, a measure or guide to our current energy, temperament, and interaction. It's a tool that's always there for us. We're always breathing. That we can bring into our awareness to guide our own interface into whatever may be going on around us. And if you've filled all your gaps, explored all those wobbles and regions, you can draw more lines, picking up anywhere and perhaps crossing from one stream to the next or finding shape within them. My eye was drawn to kind of bubbles and shapes that emerge from the arbitrary breathing and attention exercise, finding figures you know, nestled between Perhaps little, little lakes. Or if your eye is drawn to the edges, perhaps a thickening, a darkening, or an expanding, trying to take the drawing in the way that your visual senses might interpret and guide the continued application of lines that track closely but don't have to follow, lines that can wander, lines that can fill spaces to pull them out from the background. Lines that can multiply to create a field condition that fills the page as its own rhythm, continuous, possibly infinite. That motion of the breath, that motion of the hand. Always there. Maybe generally always active and a part of our own mapping of the world. Drawing in the practice of mindful awareness, giving us more access to that interpretation, the creativity, to an openness, to finding expression. What can you bring your meditation to in the last few minutes that we draw together? Something found in the drawing, something experienced in the practice, and center it in your mind as the focus of your attention while the hand moves as a subtle distraction for the other thoughts. If it's challenging to form the two thoughts at once, that meditation can be just on the curve. How is the hand tracking? 
How does it turn the corner? How does it start and end the line? time in the practice, we gain some control or shape to our wobbles, none of them will ever be exactly where they may have been thought to be, but they get closer and we find in the space of the possible inaccuracies, something more lively, perhaps, more unscripted, organic. How can we let that come through as the interaction of intention, of guiding or directing something like the curve and the shape? but also opening to its own character, figure, we can allow to expand and become a part of the space in the drawing. The technique as a guide, and then our own attention guiding it circular, rhythmic like the breath until we find something to follow. Take a few breaths or moments to finish up any lines or shapes you're working with. Take a couple of breaths to come back into your space. Maybe roll the shoulders a little bit. Breathe deep to expand. And then let all the joints sink back into their natural resting place. A little flex of the hands and prepare to go on to the rest of your day. In everything we do, there's always a little ripple or deviation between the ideal we set out for, the intention, and how that intention meets action in the real world. That ripple is a space for us to have flexibility, to practice our resilience, and to find potentials for new creative opportunity. I hope this meditation can give you some insight into your ripple, how you see it, how you react to it, and what potentially you can begin to create with it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up below and subscribe for weekly episodes of Mindful Drawing, as well as other random content on drawing and creative practice sprinkled in throughout. I hope you found the exercise relaxing or at least a little fun or creative. Leave a comment below on something you discovered during your meditation, and whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, draw well. Thank you.